Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your boy Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today I want to talk a little bit about David Icke's war on 5G. We're at day 7 right now, or we're in day 34 of the pandemic overall. We have more cell towers that have been burnt down in Holland, New Zealand, and Ireland. And some 4G network towers have come down too. So let's take a look at this article, shall we? Here from Vice News, we can see uh, anti-5G protesters have attacked cell phone towers in Holland, New Zealand, and Ireland as conspiracy theories linked to next-generation communication technologies uh, to the coronavirus pandemic continue to spread online and in the media. Um, the attacks on the cell phone towers, which began in the UK last week, are undermining critical communication networks at the time when they're needed more than ever to deal with the pandemic. In the Netherlands on Monday night, two more 5G cell towers uh, were set on fire. I believe I, I commented on that one before. Let's take a look at that picture. Here we go. Okay, so that's in the Netherlands. That one uh, is burning down. The availability of a reliable digital infrastructure is essential. The connections are desperately needed for hospitals and care homes. And uh, then there are those who desperately, <laughs> who deliberately set radio mats on fire. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's definitely very unfortunate, but, but seriously, why are hospitals using 5G? Why weren't they using local Wi-Fi like 5 gigahertz i just i don't see why the internet of things has to be 5g i'm not saying that i think 5g will give you the coronavirus i'm just kind of questioning do we really need 5g i haven't really heard of anyone who's super interested but now that i say that people are uh, going to come out of the woodwork and say oh yeah i've been asking for 5g forever it was also revealed that f5g was spray painted on the transmitter box so one of the attack site so yeah this is just compounding more information uh that we had already known that people don't like the 5g so once again just to go back over the story that we're dealing with right now david ike put out a piece uh, connecting the coronavirus to the 5g waves i still can't find exactly what he said because his interview is about two and a half hours long and i just can't find that one clip and no one can just give me that one clip of what he said anyways he made it sound like him and all his conspiracy theorist buddies thought that uh covid19 was actually created by 5g and i really hope no one actually thinks that but i know there are a few people in my comment section that definitely do for the most part people believe that uh, it will create uh another issue that might give people who get the coronavirus a weaker immune system so that they could get the covid19 easier but man there's a lot of people with some crazy ideas out there now i've personally done a test right here you can see where i take a router that has 2.4 ghz and 5 ghz and right here I'm connected to the 5G H Z, and this is basically like uh, 5G, let's say. It's a different kind of signal, but the idea is the same. Since the wave is the size that it is, it will not go through solid objects very well, like plate glass. So if we take a 5G H Z or a 5G anything and place a piece of plate glass or a wall between us, it is going to hurt the signal and the signal isn't going to hit us so it's not like we're going to be having those rays on us all the time everywhere as you can see here i've just put it in a cooler and uh the the signal has come down significantly so we shouldn't be too like overly concerned about this because for the most part we're going to be inside we're not going to be right next to this all the time and these things are only going to be in cities now i've seen commercials where they have these 5g things there they're like farmers will use 5g because it'll help them for all of these reasons but no it uh, farmers don't need 5g the 4g would be fine i don't even know why they're adding farmers to this thing farmers definitely aren't worried about getting 5g anyways here you're going to see i'm going to switch over to the uh, 2.4 gigahertz and it's uh, not going to make a difference this is just like the 4 g 4g it's fast enough we get what we need with it and it goes so much further the signal's so much better and uh it doesn't hurt us overall as long as we're within range 
But at the same time, remember, this is all uh, very bad Wi-Fi radio, whatever, and everybody thinks. If you don't like 5G, then not only do I hope you don't have a cell phone, but I hope you don't have a router in your house. I hope you don't use cellular data. Move to a flip phone. If you're really worried that 5G is going to kill you, then you know what? 4G is going to kill you too. It's going to take more time, but it can penetrate your home easier. Hopefully this whole thing will be over soon and we'll have better things to worry about. Till then, take care of each other and stay safe, folks. Catch us later.